Here I am gonna to show how to create calculator in Java with dark mode. So without wasting time, let's get started. First, I will discuss about designing part of the calculator. To opening designing part of the program, I am gonna to click on design button. After click on design button, design of calculator is showing. Here in the right pane, I created arithmetic operation buttons to perform calculations and in the left pane, I created numeric buttons to give input into the calculator. Above the buttons, I took text field to take input and display the result. This is text field's properties which I set. Text field's background color is black font, is times new roman, size is 36 and textile plain foreground, color is white, and I set matty border with custom inset properties to display bottom line bottom property has been set to 1 and all others are 0 and color, is already set white. This text field has been used for showing expression. This text field's properties are same with first one, but there is no border selected for this text field to make expression clearly visible. I took two cancel icons for dark and light mode. I changed second icon's variable name as exit2. And by default, make this icon's visibility false. Also took two icons for dark mode and light mode change. This icon's variable name as jlabel2 and by default. Make this icon's visibility false. Here, string variable num is used to store text field and buttons data. First and second, both variables are used to store the input data. Result variable is used to store the result. Action variables indicates the arithmetic operation like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. And x and y, both integer variables, will be used to move calculator screen. When L1 button will be clicked, then first, we will get the TF1 and L1's text and store it into string variable num and parse this num variable into the TF1.setText method. This functionality will be same for all numeric and also dot button. Here, C button's variable name is L12. C button will be used to clear the both text fields data when the L12 button will be clicked. Then TF1's text set to null and also TF2's text set to null. In the events menu under the mouse, I choose mouse click method for this button. Basically, this button is used to delete one number at a time without deleting whole number. When this button will be clicked, the system will first get the text of text of text field one and check its length by using length method, which should be greater than zero. If this condition will be true, the block of code will run. Strings are immutable in nature. So I used string builder to perform delete operation. First get the tf1's text and store into star variable. Then delete character at method will be used to delete character at provided location. In my case, it will delete character, which is last at right side. After deleting character, new string is stored into num variable and it will be parsed into tf1's dot set text method. To make this button actionable, I choose mouse clicked method under the mouse tab in the event menu. In this method, I used here float.parse float method to convert string into float and get ef1's text. After getting text, it is assigned to first variable, which is already a float type variable. Action variable is set to asterisk. This functionality will be same for all buttons. But the only difference is here, the action will be set according to clicked button, 
in case of plus button action will be set to plus sign. In the case of division button action will be set to divide sign and in the case of minus button action, set to minus sign. The calculation functionality of calculator starts from here. When this equal button will be clicked, in the B6 mouse clicked method, first get TF1 text fields text and convert it into float using float.parseFloat method and store it into second variable. Then I will check using if else statements which action has been occurred. If action equals to plus sign, then addition will perform and result will be stored in result variable. In the TF2 text field, the first and second numbers data with addition sign will be displayed as one expression, and result will be displayed in the TF1 text field. Else, if action equal to asterisk sign, then multiplication will performed and result will store in result variable. Then this result will display in the TF1 text field. Else, if action equals to divide sign, also has to check one more condition if any number is equal to zero or not. If any number is equal to zero, then print error in TF1 text field, else division will performed and result will stored in result, variable and result will display in the TF1 text field. Else if action is equal to minus sign subtraction, will be performed and result will stored in result variable, and result will display in the TF1 text field. For dark and light mode functionality, I use these two icons when first icon is clicked. Then new image icons will be set on buttons, and all panels background becomes white and J label 2's and exit 2's visibility, becomes true or foreground color, also will change, and set to black. Text field properties also will change. When second icon is clicked, all backward functionality will be inverted like background color becomes black, foreground color becomes white, J label 2's and exit 2's visibility becomes false and J label 1's and exits visibility becomes true. I use this text field to display text dark mode or light mode. Set its variable name to text field one. For display text in the text field at runtime, I used mouse entered event. If mouse entered event, if mouse entered into G label one, then light mode text will be shown in the text field. Other properties also will change of text field one. If mouse exit from J label 1, then text field 1 becomes null. Same functionality will run for J label 2. If mouse entered into J label 2, then dark mode text will be shown in the text field 1, and properties will also change. If mouse exit from J label 2, then text field's text becomes null. If run this code, following screen will be shown.